Around this Galt homicide, there's still so many questions that have yet to be answered. We're still waiting on an official motive. We're still waiting to hear from the coroner's office on an official identification on this body. And not only that, we're now learning about the arraignment that happened today where we are still waiting to hear from we're still waiting to hear an official plea from the suspect, John Martinez. We know that that arraignment has been continued up until September 16th. And we heard it straight from the sheriff's office who was describing this ordeal that happened on Wednesday. We heard straight from them yesterday who described this as horrific and gruesome. Now, 29-year-old John Martinez is facing a murder charge after he was arrested following Wednesday's ordeal. He walked out in the courtroom today wearing an orange jumpsuit, and the judge read the charge brought against him on Wednesday, an hours-long standoff at his home along Alta Mesa Road, led to his eventual arrest where deputies showed up in tactical gear and armored vehicles rolled in. Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says Martinez barricaded himself inside the home after authorities say he brutally hit his mother with a shovel repeatedly and then attempted to run her over and set her on fire. Officials say she died at the scene. This is not the first time Martinez has been arrested. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says in 2018, Martinez's father called sheriff's deputies and said his son was violating his restraining order. Martinez was then later arrested. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says the incident has rocked the community, a community they say is usually peaceful. So bringing you back out live, as I mentioned, for this arraignment, it's been continued for September 16th. We're still awaiting for an official plea from the suspect. And we also reached out to the DA's office. They're saying that they do not comment on pending litigation. So, of course, as more developments come through, we'll be sure to keep you posted with the latest. But, Nikki, got to tell you, this is one incident that has truly, truly rattled the community. Reporting live from Sacramento, covering local news that matters. Claudette Stefani in Fox 40 News.